In the last episode, we analyzed Warren Buffett's stock holdings and learned which companies are making money for him. No one can keep winning in the stock market, and Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway also lost billions multiple times, which didn't therefore impact his compound interest. How did he do that? The answer lies in positions management. Long-term holding concept has been deep-rooted in the heart of value investors, and Buffett himself once said that, our favorite holding period is forever. But as a matter of fact, that's only ideal. Buffett sold big as well. Among four stocks, Coca-Cola, Washington Post Company, Geico, and ABC, that he announced to hold forever. Only Coca-Cola and Geico are still in his portfolio. How Buffett deals with stocks. When will Buffett consider selling or reducing his holdings? First, when the stock has been overvalued, second, when the fundamentals have deteriorated, and third, better opportunities appear then how to assess the fundamentals of one company that are deteriorating. For example, a downturn in the economy, an error in management judgment, or a deterioration in fundamentals triggered by industry competition, all indicate that the company's moat is being broken. Whether it's a bull market or a bear market, Buffett will firmly seize opportunities to sell off. To cite two examples, after Wells Fargo was involved in a fake account fraud scandal, Buffett nearly cleared its stocks, ending 32 years of holding. Walmart also disappeared from the holdings list after the rise of Amazon. It seems that position management is only about the management of funds, but in essence, it is a risk prevention and control method. This is the logic of Buffett's selling. Warren Buffett doesn't just sell well. His strongest investment ability is his ability to hold. During the first four years holding WPC, the company suffered from huge losses and the maximum loss was as high as 40%. But Buffett didn't sell any of them. At the end of 1972, Berkshire had a book value of more than $83 million and Buffett's 11 million purchase of WPC's stocks in 1973 accounted for about 13% of the company's net assets which meant that a loss of up to 40% would actually only give the company an overall loss of 5%. And the overall returns of Berkshire in the four years were 4.7%, 5.5%, 21.9%, 59.3%. Put it in simple way, he can afford to lose money when the eggs are not in the same basket, as the other businesses continue to make money. In the end, Warren Buffett's investment in the WPC paid off over 100 times. The art of dealing stocks surely reveals the importance of position management, which determines how long an investor can survive in the market. Conservative or radical? Now that positions management is so crucial, what tactics shall we apply? If position management can be divided into conservative and radical, Buffett is a conservative to radical investor. Whenever a big bull market comes, Buffett is an extremely risk-averse conservative investor. The crazier the stock market rose, the lower his position was. Whenever the big bear market came, Buffett turned into a greedy activist investor. The worse the stock market fell, the higher his position. Buffett's conservation is reflected in two aspects. First, cash is king. Berkshire has a large amount of cash equivalents and fixed income bonds on its books every year. And its highest position in history is close to 85%. The main reason is that when the opportunity comes, Buffett can take out a lot of cash to bet. Second, he insisted on building his positions in tranches, no matter how much he loves Coca-Cola. Warren Buffett bought the stocks in three times separately in 1988, 1989, and 1994. All in may maximize the returns, but also maximize the risks. After buying a full position, there is no capital to recover from a bad decision or a black swan. Everybody. Recently, with the tightening of monetary policy and the huge turn of the Nasdaq, Buffett has suddenly become active. Since March this year, he has continuously bought shares of Occidental Petroleum and Hewlett Packard Corporation Limited. While the cash and cash equivalents held by Berkshire at the end of 2021 amounted to $144 billion. To be conservative or radical is not a question, and choosing the right strategy according to market changes is the way to go. That's all about how Buffett manages the positions. Got it?